All right, so let's start with good things. Ellen? Good things from, from my class. I had two students in the month of April raise their ice station reading scores by 20 points apiece. Okay, so April. Ice station reading? Ice station reading, 20 points apiece. Okay, and then mine, my student, um, Stefan, who uh, struggles and works at a kindergarten level or below, um, we are now being able to recognize um, numbers uh, 0 through 10 and uh, compare greater than and less than independently. Good. All right, so our, on Friday we took our week two CSA, CFA sorry, for unit eight. Mm -hmm. So we want to look at how we did on that one. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So, um, overall, how many, with three out of four being, per, and above being proficient, how many did we have? Thirteen, okay, out of my twenty-one that took it. I only had twenty-one here that day. Okay, so thirteen out of twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Sorry, one. <laughs> and then I had mine was I had sixteen out of twenty-three that day. So mine was 70% proficient and the 61, 62% proficient with an overall grade level proficiency. Thirteen and sixteen divided by forty four is a sixty six percent proficiency. I'm gonna, I mean, I know mine could have done higher on a couple of those questions. That's um, question two. Okay. Question two. Let's look at question two. Question two was the question that my class did not perform well on at all. Out of my 21, 11 of them missed that. So half of my class missed question two. Two looked to be mine as well. All right. So let's look at question two. Do you have that pulled up? Yes, so I'm okay. going to get up right now. Question two was, what is the main topic of the story? Choices given. A, the North Star shows the way home. B, the stars tell stories. C, the old people thought the Big Dipper was a great bear. Sorry, what was B? Oh, sorry. The, star, the stars tell stories. And C was the old people. people thought the Big Dipper was a great bear. Okay. Um, so why, I wonder why we... I know just off the top of my head, several of mine picked the North Star Shows the Way Home because that was the last thing mentioned in the book. Okay. So I feel like for some of mine, that was the last thing that they heard. 
And then the old people, it did talk a lot about how the Big Dipper, how they thought it was a great bear because then it went on to tell about how it had the hunters and the dog chasing after it. Yeah. So I think there was either they heard, they thought of the last statement in the book or they, it was too, the book focused on that Big Dipper and the Great Bear quite a bit. Yeah. I, I agree. I think, to me, that was the two that's um, reasons that stuck out. Even though we had talked about how the whole story was just telling us, you know, it was this story the grandpa was sharing how the stars mm -hmm. tell stories and how they're passed down. Because two and three on ours, three was what did the boy learn at the end of the story, which the answer was the North Star is always mm -hmm. there to show you the way home. Three, I had eight that missed number three. I had seven, so it was a close second. Yes. Hmm. How can we pick up more about, because that's what they're focusing on on those CFAs or CSAs is those main ideas main and details. Main ideas and details. And I notice I have... Our CSA for Friday pulled up, uh -huh. and it does talk about what is the passage mostly about. So maybe what is the main topic of a certain paragraph? So maybe we need to reword some of our questions to better match the CSA also. Okay, I will agree with that. And then it does go on and talk about what part of the passage supports the detail about a certain question. Mine just, they're so, having a hard time with understanding that the main idea or the central message mm -hmm. is what it's, the whole, the whole thing is the about. The whole thing's about, yes. They only focus on the details and usually it's the last detail that it's they've It's the heard. last, yes, I agree. And I, we've talked about that numerous times this week with our story. So I'm wondering, do we need to maybe modify, the besides modifying the questions, mm -hmm. do we maybe need to add in a second day lesson of main idea and key details? That's on, yes. Because that seems to be the trend from past CSAs that we have given. I, I do recall that there's been questions similar to what we will be looking at on Friday for our unit CSA. Um, and then make questions match the vocabulary of the district uh, CSA. Okay, so if we were going to reword number two for next time. Mm -hmm. We picked main topic right out of right off of theirs. Yes, we did. And the first question, what is the passage mostly about? So they've used the word mostly. And then the next question, what is the main topic of a paragraph? It gives a specific paragraph. So maybe use the word main topic in mostly interchangeably so that the students know that if they hear a question, what is this text or topic mostly about, it would they would need to understand that they need to give that big picture. And I usually tell mine, if you could tell them just in a few words. Yeah. Just in a few words, what would you tell somebody the text is about? Yeah. But again, we like talking about they want to get specific. Right. They want to get those specific details in. Because I noticed when we were writing our summary yesterday, they wanted to focus on the steps of the process and not what is the whole thing helping the whole them do. Mm -hmm. 
So maybe if we changed number two to what is the story mostly about? Because then they could possibly get rid of the North Star because it that the was, whole story is not about right, the North that Star. That was not mentioned until the very end. And the whole story is not about the bear. Correct. So maybe just reword that one. Reword that one. Are you do you want me to change that right now? You can't, yeah. Okay. And if we and add I, an extra, and oh, I did change that. Okay. So that we will have. That and if we want to add time. an extra day, do we want to try to pull in some different materials? Mm -hmm. I think so, because that's what I was thinking. If there is a way we could pull in even just an extra read aloud, maybe mm -hmm. somewhere, just more practice. They need more yes. practice. I'm just going to put uh, using a read aloud or selected text. Mm -hmm. And we have those new books that we just received. Yes. So we could start pulling some of those maybe. And, and those go with the unit. And those already. go with the unit. So, so we have some text we can use to work on main idea or the theme using those different worded words that they may hear. Okay. So my edge elastic disappeared. Because I do see a lot of questions in the first passage for this one. It's mostly talking about what is it mostly about the main idea and then supporting details oh yeah the person in the moon that yeah mm -hmm. and then the next one moon gets a face which is a key detail then it has one kind of like a narrator question which detail tells what happened at the end of the story so a lot we need to focus more on details about stories also, I feel like. Okay, see number two on there is what is the main topic of paragraph one? Mm -hmm. You may see a face, there is a person on the moon, the female is with the person on the moon. I mean, well hopefully, it doesn't say in there that the moon is made of cheese, so I'm really hoping they can strike that one out. I I hope. And it doesn't say the moon has been there for a long time. So it's not like giving them any mm -mm. tricks on that it's one. It's not. In the last sentence, the dark spots look like a, a person's, person's face. face. And even in the first sentence, you might see a face. Right. So it says face two times mm -hmm. in there. So if they're just, if they're focusing on what we're reading, they should get that one. 